okay uh, I'm gonna show you uh, this is not my idea I've only seen people make uh, catfish bobbers so uh, but this is my little twist on it, it can save you a lot of money when you're out to, and you can't find fishing lures with a shortage but uh, uh, so here's my, my little twist on it you get these little reflectors uh, reflective strips get them at Harbor Freight some of these uh, rods right here are from an old old tent uh, where somebody's, you know, you can find these where somebody's discarded them and they've ripped all up. Save those little, uh, you know, they normally have the little uh, uh, elastic uh, rubber band style uh, bungee and they, and they stick end to end. But I take these right here. This is what I did. I cut it at nine inches long. So you got the little hole right there that your uh, that your line can go down through, right through there. Fiberglass. Take sandpaper and scuff up both ends of it, and I'll show you why here in just a little bit. Take a little piece of emery cloth, swimming pool noodle. You can get them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree or uh, Family Dollar. And uh, I cut this to seven inches and a couple of zip ties and a little bit of super glue and a little bit of packing tape. Uh, I'll show you what I did here. Here's what, here's what I come up with. This, uh, the rod goes through it, zip tie scrunches up around it real tight. But the reason I scuffed that up was, uh, I put some super glue right uh, there and there. That way, when it cinches up around uh, around that right there, it'll. Uh, well, you can still see some of the super glue right there where it bonded to it to keep that from slipping up and down. Then I took the uh, reflective tape and stuck it to it, but I was afraid it would come off, so I took the packing tape. And went around it about three or four times kind of tight you can see how I kind of squished it up around there I want to make sure it's good and tight and not slip off but uh, that's it I mean I don't have I mean the pull noodle was a dollar the uh, reflective strips I'm thinking they was um, let's just say six dollars but there's ten strips in there and I cut them I cut them actually in half so that would give you 20 strips, and then you cut these into, into shorter pieces like I did here. You see that? They don't go all the way around. You can go all the way around. Uh, I just didn't see a point in it. I had, already had a little piece of red, so I thought, well, I'll just do it like that. And uh, so at nighttime, you know, you have a lantern or a light out there. You can shine out there, and you'll see that thing light up like a light bulb, and you'll see that thing bobbing up and down. But... Uh, you know, with a shortage of everything hard to find nowadays, uh, like I say, I scrunched the zip tie up real tight around it. Took these little side cuts and snipped them off right at the right at the edge. And uh, yep, I think it'll make a nice little uh, uh, fishing bobber. So um, yeah, I don't. You guys don't have to go out and pay a bunch of bunch of money for them. So. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you uh, like it, uh, please like, share, subscribe to my videos. Talk to you later. Bye.